Today you join me in a very wet and windy Essex where I have come to check out this converted 103 foot steel Selby barge that at the time of making this video is currently listed for sale. Before I show you around this barge, please don't forget to give the video a like and also if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are going to start this boat tour from the interior because surprise, surprise, it is raining again here in the south of England as it has been pretty much constantly for the last four months. When the rain stops, I will go outside and show you around the upper deck, including the terrace. As we enter this open plan living space, we find a seating area over to port where you can sit back and relax whilst watching some TV or a decent movie. Continuing forward, we find a large fridge and freezer next to some decks, which I'm guessing probably don't come with a saddle of this boat. As you would expect with a liverable boat, this spacious galley comes with everything you need. There is a mix of various new appliances, including Hoover and Kenwood. I love this central island feature that has a five burner gas stove, including some additional storage where you can keep your wine and a place where you can sit and enjoy that beer while taking in the view, maybe not of Essex on a rainy day, but wherever this boat ends up. As we look around, let's talk a little bit more about the history of this boat. This 103 foot Selby barge was built in 1957, marking its origin in a bygone era of maritime industry. Originally purposed for transporting goods, its robust steel construction and flat bottom design were emblematic of the practical and durable engineering of the time. Years beyond its service in cargo movement, the Selby Doris underwent a significant transformation. A team of highly skilled craftsmen undertook the task of converting this traditional barge into a floating home. This conversion process preserved the vessel's industrial heritage while adapting it for modern living, blending historical significance with contemporary comforts. Today, the Selby Doris stands as a unique example of adaptive reuse in maritime architecture, embodying a seamless transition from utility to habitation. Forward of the galley, we find the single helm station on the starboard side. This barge does have a working engine room and stay tuned because I'm going to show you down there later on in the video. But before I show you in the engine room and around the upper deck, I want to show you downstairs in the accommodation areas. As you can see in the summer, this would be a fantastic place to hang out in this jacuzzi. But obviously the weather is going to mean that we're going to head down instead of outside. As we descend down the only staircase that leads into the accommodation areas, we are going to hang a left so I can first show you around this huge cinema room. Over on the starboard side, we have this large L-shaped seating and lounging area, the perfect vantage point to sit with some popcorn and some beers whilst watching a film. As you can see, there is plenty of space down here and lots of headroom, so you can turn this area into your own version of what you can currently see. There are lots of speakers which have been set up to really help immerse you in the cinematic experience that can be enjoyed in this space. Heating is provided thanks to a gas boiler, but you'll also notice there's a wood burner down here as well. So you can really set the scene with your favorite film chuck some wood in the burner, turn down the lights and just sit back and relax. What do you think of this area? Share your thoughts in the comments below. So this converted barge has a total of four double cabins. Let me take you through those now. Starting off with this particular space, this is the guest bathroom and toilet. As you can see, because we're on a barge, you get lots of headroom in here, lots of space. You do get natural light coming through into this area as well, thanks to that porthole. And of course, we've got the shower there. So a comfortable area for your guests when they're on board. You have to excuse the flickering in this first double guest room. I can't control the lights and hopefully the anti-flicker on this DJI Osmo Pocket 3 will cancel out some of that flickering. But yeah, when we head into here, again, a nice space, Plenty of room for a double bed in here, plus some storage. And look, we've even got one of the original beams there as well. But again, uh, we've got another window that you can open up for some ventilation. Uh, if you happen to have this boat in an area that's nice and dry and warm, unlike today, uh, where it's wet, windy, 
and very cold. You see here, got a large radiator, so it is um, a gas central heating system uh, on board this boat, uh, which is very effective uh, and warm up very quickly because of the size of those radiators. In here we have the second uh, double guest cabin. Again, it's not being lived on at the moment, this particular boat, uh, which is why there's no bed in here, obviously. But yeah, you can easily fit a decent sized double bed in here uh, with some cabinetry and other storage space uh, for your guests. We've got a double socket over here. Again, a nice big radiator, another double socket just over there as well. Let's continue forward. Even in this area here, nice wide companionway stretches all the way along, or pretty much all the way along the length of the boat. There's part of that beam there. And again, up here, plenty of windows. So you've got lots of light coming into this space. Okay, let's go into the next cabin. You can see another double cabin here. So there are a total of four cabins on this boat, including uh, the owner's suite, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But yeah, very comfortable. The carpet, I mean, this is a really nice high quality carpet in here. Uh, really comfortable to walk on. Obviously I have got my shoes off, just in case you ask. Let's now head into the owner's cabin. You can see it's full beam in here. Uh, really, really nicely set out. Another beam up there, look. But yeah, there's loads of space, lots and lots of headroom. I mean, there must be probably about, I don't know, maybe 14 feet of headroom in here, I think. But we've got a uh, TV over here on this bulkhead. Nice big flat screen TV. So you can wake up in the morning or go to bed, watch your favorite YouTuber on that telly whilst relaxing and still get a nice uh, bit of natural light in here. Obviously the two windows that are up here and the other two windows that are up there as well that can be opened up for some ventilation. But yeah, great space here. Lots of space to make your own. Upholstery salute, as you were. Just pan back around here. Another huge radiator over there. Let's head into the owner's bathroom. So there is a bit of work being done at the moment on this boat, which is why uh, it is how it is, but it gives you a good idea of the setup of this space. A nice double walk-in shower. In fact, you probably fit I don't know, about four people in there if you wanted to, for whatever reason, if you had a mass dobian session uh, and you wanted to uh, have a shower at the same time. Uh, but yeah, nice big shower in there. And let's walk into the walk-in closet. Again, we've got the flickering lights, so hopefully the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 3 will cancel some of that out. By the way, if you are thinking about getting a vlogging camera, this is a really good one. And if you want to grab your own, I'll leave a link in the video description. But DJI have done a really good job with this camera. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's walk into this uh, walk-in wardrobe that has a bit of a nightclub effect thanks to that flickering light. But yeah, as you can see, lots of hanging space in here for your clothes. Shoes down there can be neatly stowed away. Uh, I don't want to trigger any epileptic viewers that we might have, so let's spend a minimal amount of time in the walk-in wardrobe and take you up forward into this space, which is a bit of a workshop area, really, a utility room. Got a couple of tanks there, look. And we step in, here we have the washing machine. And yeah, you could use this as a bit of a workbench if you wanted to, uh, for whatever reason. Got a skylight there, look. And here we are right at the bow of the barge. I won't open that, because chances are with one hand, I probably won't be able to close it again. But yeah, it's, it's been a real privilege to be on board this uh, very unique uh, you know, Selby barge. I'm going to head into the engine room now and show you that. That completes the part of the tour when it comes to the accommodation. Let me show you around the upper deck now on this uh, converted Selby barge. I've had to switch to the GoPro because it is raining and the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 isn't waterproof so let's stick to the GoPro as I show you around the upper deck 
Over here, look, you can see the uh, steering gear and the top of the rudder there. Now, access down into the engine room is through this hatch, uh, which we'll have a look at in a minute. And obviously, we've got a deck plate here that can be removed. So if you wanted to pull out the, uh, the single engine, uh, then you can do that. Yeah, look at the uh, big doors there that lead into the, uh, into the saloon. Let's head along the starboard side deck now. Big old guard rail here. Make sure you don't slip over into the mud. As you can see, the tide is out at the moment here in what is a uh, sunny Essex. Beautiful Essex weather. VHF uh, radio area over there and here we have the uh, door the entrance into the uh, the saloon another entrance into the saloon uh, over here on the starboard uh, side deck as you move forward you can see uh, the coach roof here um, this is how you get so much headroom down below this raised area here uh, enables you to get lots of headroom and lots of space uh, and lots of natural light thanks to all of the windows that are dotted along the deck uh, if you do happen to be out here on a sunny day you've even got a little spa there look just imagine sitting in there chilling out enjoying a view of wherever you take this boat if you happen to buy it perfect place to sit down and relax let's navigate past these two big gas canisters here 36 kilograms each so i'm gonna have to move out away of them rather than them moving out of the way of me let's pan around and take a look uh, should we call that the um, pilot house I don't know I don't I've not been on many uh, converted barges before so let me know what you'd call it let's head forwards oh, nice little boat there it's such a shame boats like these are just left I could do with a boat like that I'd love it take it out and some gnarly stuff uh, so down below there uh, you would have seen or depending on whereabouts in the video i put this footage uh, you would have seen or will see uh, the utility room is located uh, underneath uh, that hatch there little davit over there for a little tender so when the tide comes in you've got a little boat that you want to go or your kayaks you want to go exploring you can lower and recover them using that little dab it there right it's duck underneath this take you back aft Ugh. bend down so we're actually at a um, boatyard at the moment in case you're wondering in deep darkest Essex which is uh, where I herald from anyone from Essex or anyone from England watching this video big hello and of course everyone else who might be watching it as well um, there we go over there on the uh, port side got the stack there for the burner that I showed you earlier on in the video but let's head up here because this is a really great space there you go look at this a rooftop garden great place to come and sit and enjoy a few beers with your friends when the weather allows L-shaped seating uh, over here on the starboard side you can fit plenty of people there. I don't even know where I know enough people to fill up those two benches. Um, but what we've got over here, we've got a barbecue over here as well. Turn it into a dog house. If anyone uh, misbehaves, you can put them in there. But yeah, we've got a little barbecue here. Look at this. Fantastic. Love it. And great views as well in terms of the elevation and just the fact you can look all around but yeah this is a really really good area for entertaining i can imagine you could have some really good times up here welcome to our beer garden proudly serving whatever you bring for me it'd probably be a guinness i do love a pint of guinness what would you bring up here what would be your favorite tipple let me know in the comments Okay, let's head back down this ladder. Make sure I don't slip. So I'm on here on my own at the moment, so if I did, no one would probably know. View from uh, outside, inside there. Let's head back down along this port side deck. Actually, no, cancel that. Let's go back over onto the other side. And let's head back into the warm. Apologies if there's rain on the camera. 
That's one thing I cannot control is the rain. Next, let's head down into the engine room, which, as you'll see in a minute, needs a bit of TLC to get it in a ship shape order. But nonetheless, there's a working engine down there, so let's go and check it out. Uh, this should be interesting descending down here with some wet shoes. Let's just put you over here. Okay, bear with me. Let's take you down below out of the rain. Powering this vessel is a Thornycroft 698 inboard diesel engine. The boat is also fitted with a 200 litre fuel tank and water storage is ample with a total capacity of 2,000 litres across two tanks, which we saw in the bow. The electrical systems encompass a 12 volt ship setup for onboard operations, complemented by a 240 volt shore power connection. So the time of making and uploading this video to my YouTube channel, this converted barge is currently for sale. Now, if you wanna find out more, I'll leave a link to the broker's website in the video description, so head to the video description, click on that link, and it'll take you to my webpage where you can find out some more information about this boat. But yeah, I'm really interested to read your thoughts, so let me know in the comments. I'd like to say a big thank you to the broker for allowing me to come on board and shoot this footage, uh, and also a big thank you to the owner as well for letting me come on board. Uh, I've really enjoyed looking around this, and this is the second barge that I've actually featured on my channel. So. Um, I'll leave the link in the video description to the other barge that I featured. That one's for sale as well, actually, as well. So you might want to go and check that one out. But if you've got access to a boat or a barge that you'd like me to feature on my channel, please feel free to get in contact with me. You'll find all of my contact details by following that link in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. If you give the video a like now, it'll really help with its reach. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really want to try and get to 100,000 subscribers if we can by the end of the year, but I can't do that without your help. If you are a subscriber, then I really appreciate the support. Anyway, enough waffling from me. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you check out the video that I made about Noel. If you want to watch it, I'll leave a link in the video description and I'll leave the link pinned in the comments as well. If you are a member of my channel, then I shot some footage of this boat, especially for you, my channel members, and I'll be uploading that to my channel in the next couple of days. If you haven't become a member of my YouTube channel yet, which is basically YouTube's version of Patreon, then you've guessed it, click on the link pinned in the comments or the one in the video description. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got some fantastic boats coming soon.